Welcome back. When it comes to self quarantine, NASA astronaut Captain Barry Butch Wilmore is a pro. He spent 178 days in space commanding the International Space Station in 2014 and 15. I caught up with the Tennessee native to see how COVID-19 has impacted his life and to get his veteran perspective. So I've kind of got a quarantine beard. Tennessee native Captain Barry Butch Wilmore is facing a new mission working from home. It's way different. Johnson Space Center, all of NASA is pretty much shut down. We're all teleworking. Yeah. So everything I do is via the computer um, with our crew. I do still fly the T-38. There's a small cadre of folks that are still uh, in that loop to still fly. So I went in and flew this morning. It's really the only time he leaves his house. Wilmore and his wife homeschool their teenage daughters, so they're used to being home, but they are taking advantage of additional quality time together. And, you know, honestly, it's been great, uh, Beth, for us because we've done some things we just never done before. Like my oldest daughter likes theater. She's in plays and that type of thing. So we had theater night one night. We dressed up. You know, she printed out little playbills and... Uh, <laughs> We went upstairs and watched a, a, a you know, Broadway production on video. Social distancing and isolation are nothing new for the NASA astronaut and Navy pilot. He spent six months at the International Space Station and lived two years at sea during Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Yes, cramped quarters and limitations can be stressful, but Wilmore says it's all about mindset and keeping perspective. So it's a mental thing. You click that switch and you say, well, if I can't have it, I can't have it. So be it. I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm going to enjoy what I do have. Let's move. When I was in space, I did things that, you know, flips and backflips. And that time, I just I did one every single morning because I could. You know, I've got like a two-inch vertical jump here on Earth. In space, <laughs> in space, I was Superman, you know. So I took advantage of that and just enjoyed what, I, what we had, you know, in that environment. Wilmore also relies on his strong faith. We understand that, that God is in control in all things, and, and God is in this too. During his last trip in space, Wilmore learned how to cut fellow astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti's hair. That skill has proven beneficial during this quarantine. So are you cutting your wife and daughter's hair? Uh, I do some trimming. They allow me to do some trimming. They will not let me do a full-fledged cut. Though I think, I tell them I'm capable. <laughs> He's keeping his skills sharp, training for a potential third trip to the International Space Station as backup commander of the new Starliner spacecraft. How does your family feel about a, a return mission to the uh, space station? Good question. Uh, my daughters are not thrilled with it. Uh, Do you want me to go? No. See? <laughs> How come? <laughs> well, because it's a new vehicle mainly. Well, I guess you're not on a personal. Well, Well, because... Of course, I'll miss him. <laughs> His next assignment here on Earth was supposed to be the commencement speech at UT's Mechanical Aerospace and Biomedical Engineering graduation in May. I think they're going to try to do a virtual graduation. Okay. And how that plays out, I'm not sure, but I'd still give some type of commencement address, probably standing right here, <laughs> maybe in an orange tie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but something like that, I think, is in the works. We'll see if it, how it plays out. Yeah. Always love talking to Captain Wilmore. Uh, he says his key message to graduating seniors is to remember one word, integrity. Always live your life with integrity. We'll see how that May graduation plays out. But he's also looking forward to Tennessee football, hopefully back in the fall.